Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video we are going to talk about the verbal ability test questions and it is a part 3 which is in continuation to the other two parts which we have already discussed on the channel. So if you have not watched those videos you can go and watch them on the channel and consider subscribing to the channel as well for the efforts which we put to bring the videos to you. And also I would request you to subscribe to our telegram channel so that you receive all the latest updates for our videos. So all the links are mentioned in the description box below. You can go check them out. So what are the type of questions we are dealing with about which we have also talked in our previous videos however you can see on the screen that these are some type of questions which we are dealing with in the verbal ability section so let's look at some of those questions and uh, let's try to solve them so the first question here is which of the phrases given below each sentence should replace the phrase printed in bold type to make the grammatically correct sentence if the sentence is correct as it is then we have to mark D as the answer and the option number D is nothing but no improvement. The sentence is the man to who I sold my house was a cheat. Now we have four options and we have to select which option will replace the uh, underlined part. So first of all when we are using the word who it is a question. However in this sentence we are not asking a question we are referring to a certain person about whom the man is talking. So first of all there should be replacement of the word who with whom. Now we have two options that is option A and option C with the word whom in it and it's very easy to get confused and select the option number A because it appears first. There is a time where we have to stop and think about the options provided to us. Now first of all the person who is talking about selling his house he has already done it. So it's it's being talked about the past and not about the present and not about the present perfect as well. So the man to who I sold my house was a cheat is a sen this sentence is wrong. What we need to write here is the man to whom I sold my house was a cheat. So option number C is the correct answer in this case. I hope you understood why we are using whom instead of who and why sold instead of sell because we are talking about a past. So let's look at the second question here. Now this is a filling in the blanks kind of a question but it is similar to the previous one wherein we have to replace the word which is underlined with a word which suits or makes the sentence meaningful. So the sentence is no one could explain how a calm and balanced person like him could penetrate such a mindless act on his friends. Now the options which are provided here are more kind of a similar in statement but not in meaning. So for example you can see that we have the first three options which is perpetuate, perpetrate and precipitate and obviously all the three have a different meaning. So for solving these kind of questions you should have an idea of what the word which we are uh, using or which we are planning to use means. So if we go with the first word which is perpetuate, the word perpetuate means to make something continuously or indefinitely. So we can say that the confusion was perpetuated through inadvertence which means that the confusion was more and more increased because of unclear things or unclear statements. So the word perpetuate is not the one because we are talking about something really bad in the sentence that the person might have done. So let's look at the other options which we have. So if you look at the option number C it is pretty straightforward that this word is not the one which we want to use because precipitate is something uh, kind of um, unnecessary or immature because precipitate is a word which is used for something kind of a residue. If we uh, talk about chemistry then in that case precipitate means some kind of substance which uh, arises immaturely. So that is not the word which we are using and the word itself which we have in the sentence that is penetrate. Penetrate means to put something or something which goes inside some other object which is uh, penetrating if we say that the bullet penetrated the person's body it means that it went through it went away from there so penetrate is obviously not the word and the word which we have here uh, which is perpetrate that is option number b so we have to also take into consideration that word that is perpetrate here so what does perpetrate mean so the word perpetrate means to carry out or commit some kind of a harmful action or some kind of an immoral action if you would say so uh, if you look at the sentence no one could explain how calm how a calm and balanced person like him could penetrate such a mindless act on his friends 
so the sentence is speaking about something dangerous or something harmful and the word penetrate does not suit there so the word perpetrate should replace the word penetrate and so the option number b that is perpetrate is the correct answer so let's look at another example so i hope you have understood this example because in this case though the words look similar they have different meanings so if you have a slight idea about the meanings of the word then you can easily sort out the answers so let's look at the third question choose the most appropriate article among the given choices if no article is required select no improvement so the sentence is it's underscore third root on the left and here there are options a and the no improvement now what is the word which we are going for obviously first of all if we look at the option number a which is a itself so we are not going for a because a is not a kind of a word which we are using for a sentence in which a reference is being done so for example if we are doing some kind of reference we never use the word a and is not going to be used because there is no word here which starts with a vowel so an is not the option so the option which we are left with is the and no improvement and no improvement is obviously not the option because this sentence demands something there so a sentence is already incomplete so we need to put in something there so the word the is the answer here and let me explain why option number c is the correct answer so the word the is used for referring to a particular object which has already been defined for example if you say that if we say the book belongs to her which means that the girl about whom we are talking is already defined hence we are not using the name of the girl again instead we are using the word the to refer to any kind of object which belongs to that girl so that is why we use the word the so c is the correct answer here let's look at the last question here which of the phrases given below each sentence should replace the phrase printed in bold type to make the grammatically correct sentence if the sentence is correct as it is mark d as the answer the criteria used to select the finalist were unclear to the audience now let's look at the options which we have so the first option is the finalist was unclear which is obviously not correct because was is used for a singular kind of thing and we are referring to an audience which is not singular obviously then we have the finalist were unclearing unclearing is not a word which we are going for because we are not talking about past continuous tense the finalist were unclearly unclearly was not the word to be used because if the word unclearly is used it will, it will be used at the end of the sentence probably so this option does not look clear and then the fourth option is no improvement and which is the final answer and let's discuss at why the answer is no improvement here so if you read the sentence the criteria used to select the finalist were unclear to the audience the sentence already conveys the meaning which we want to so there is no kind of an option which we will be using to make the meaning of this sentence something different or something which we don't want to convey so why should we replace the part of the sentence with something which makes it unclear wherein the sentence is already clear so that is why option number d that is no improvement is the option so i hope you got to know about some of the type of questions and the concept behind it so if you like this video make sure to subscribe to our channel click the bell icon for all the future updates on our videos also i would highly request you to join our telegram channel wherein you receive all the latest updates on our videos and the different kind of quizzes which we conduct over there so it also helps you with your preparation for different upcoming companies so thank you for watching this video once again always keep learning